Well, as we've seen earlier in the newscast, it is never ideal when the people who bring you the news become parts of the news. But a conservative watchdog group has uncovered evidence showing that Fox News was the target of hostility from the Obama White House. Chief Washington correspondent Jim Engel has details. In its first few months, the Obama administration sought to exclude Fox News from an interview with Kenneth Feinberg, who was then the executive pay czar. The White House claimed it was a simple mistake, but Judicial Watch has obtained emails between officials suggesting otherwise. We filed an Open Records Freedom of Information Act request in October of 2009, and we didn't get a response from the Obama administration until just last week, which is uh, well over 18 months later. At the time, officials flatly denied there was any intention to exclude Fox, but after first offering interviews to just the three biggest networks, officials decided to expand the access to include CNN and possibly other cable networks, but not Fox. Dag Vega, director of broadcast media at the White House, shown here on the right, wrote to a Treasury press officer saying, quote, let me know which cables you had, and we'd prefer if you skip Fox, please. It's not clear who the we refers to, but that wish was initially honored. And lo and behold, Fox gets skipped. And then once the story gets out there, uh, you see all the back and forth suggesting it was just a misunderstanding. The bias against Fox was clear in the emails. The day after the controversy, one media official writes to a colleague saying, quote, I am putting some dead fish in the Fox cubby, just cause. President Obama was asked about the controversy shortly thereafter and seemed to classify Fox News differently from other news organizations. And if media is operating basically as a talk radio format, then that's one thing. And if it's operating as a, uh, as a news outlet, then that's another. A distinction he has not applied to MSNBC or CNN. One media legal analyst argues the administration sought to separate Fox from the other networks. You can all interview Mr. Feinberg, the pie, Pazar. But Fox News, we really don't like what you've been doing in your news uh, programming and in your opinion programming, mm -hmm. and you can't come along. But because the network pool was involved and Fox is a member, the other networks questioned the move. The White House specifically sought to exclude Fox. They were ultimately unsuccessful because of the intervention reportedly of other media. Uh, but they didn't want to let Fox in. Today, White House spokesman Jay Carney tried to put it all in the past. That was then, and, you know, we uh, obviously deal with Fox News regularly. I call on you regularly. We give interviews to Fox News, including to Bill O'Reilly. And Fox did get its interview with Feinberg after all. Michael Clemente, Fox's senior vice president for news, said today, on and off air relations with this administration have come a long way since then. And if that unfortunate incident helped get things on a better track, then it served its purpose. In Washington, Jim Angle, Fox News.